My name is Majda Salem, uh, wife of Ghassan Al Ashi. I live in Texas, Dallas, and my husband is a political prisoner in uh, Marion, Illinois. Uh, my family, uh, three boys, and myself went to visit him last um, winter, and we had to suffer the inclement weather on the way for 12 hours till we got to Marion. We slept that night hoping things would be great next day. Uh, we woke up, we found it a white sheet everywhere, snow. So we were advised by people in the hotel that you must be crazy to leave at this time. Uh, just stay at the hotel till at least the roads are cleaned. Uh, we couldn't tell them that we're going to the prison to visit my husband and that we have a, a certain appointment that we have to be at. So we drove, it was a very, very risky drive. We got to the facility and we waited like half an hour till we were uh, taken to um, the visitation room uh, where he visited with us behind glass. He was very, very happy to see us. Uh, the problem is, after two hours down the road in the visit, um, suddenly a guard came and said, your visitation is over. You need to leave now. And it was a shock for us. Why do we need to leave now? <laughs> Why do we need to leave now? We still have two hours. Um, my boys were very disheartened, very disappointed. Um, they said, Mom, we drove 12 hours and we came all the way here to end our visit short. And then the guard said, and you better call before you come tomorrow. And as we left, I tried to get the story from the officer. Why are we leaving early? Why we may not come tomorrow? And he said, the guys in Washington who uh, monitor the visit are not there at this point because of inclement weather. And if it continues, next day you may not be able to visit. That's why. We will try to make it up for you next visit. Now that was like a blow, because my kids from Dallas were telling me we shouldn't go, it's dangerous, it's raining all the way, you know, and we, you know, it all depends on the weather, and we may not be able to see that. And now my kids are saying, you see, we told you, you should have listened to us. That was last winter. This last spring, I took my kids again, this time with my daughter, uh, added to the three boys. She was a great help all the way, very positive. But when we got there, my Down syndrome child, 12 year old, who loves to give hugs and kisses, he loves to be touched, did not want to go into the visitation room. He cried and he said, it's an ugly visit. Ugly visit meaning ugly visit. Mm. It's an ugly visit. Uh, Baba, no touch. It's bad. So he refused to go into the room. He just went there, said hi, gave five to his daddy, and left. Mm. And he stayed in the general pub visitation room the whole time. Now next day, we went to the visitation room with Ghassan and my children were going back and forth to Omar, trying to convince him to come and see that. And he insisted, it's an ugly visit. Mm. And the last maybe half an hour, we were able to bribe him with a big burger, which he loved, that if you come, we'll take you to a restaurant and you will eat your burgers. And that's when he came in, the last five minutes, and he said, hi, Baba, gave him five, kissed him behind the glass, and 
headed out of the room. To me, this is so unkind, so uh, merciless, um, keeping a, you know, a man who did nothing but feed widows and orphans. Basically, it's philanthropy, it's charity work. Mm -hmm. They took him and put him in prison, in a CMU, a little Guantanamo, you know, where his communication with his family is managed and closely monitored. It is such an injustice. My hmm. husband is innocent, and he should be out of there. How long will he be there? 65 years. 65 years for feeding the needy, yeah. basically.